before. And how it started with the superstitious material, it bonds the aggregates and stuff with the, the aggregates and stuff together and gives it strength, starting with here. Um, uh, gives it strength. So they used to uh, they used to use other natural products, organic products, like uh, fly ash and uh, like the the pyramids here. They used to just they, the, it took the ancient Egyptian in the first school to use the crystal in cement, and they use it in uh, in the pyramids. So um, and then it kept on uh, developing in um, the, uh, a British scientist first researched the uh, did a proper research and got patents over that. Uh, and later on, the research started. The American society tested test the material, which is what we apply here. To, Validate cement, started like researching the thesis, the patents came into play, and they, get, they developed the Portland cement. And it's called Portland because it refers to a Portland, a, a place called Portland. In, uh, in, so, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, the manufacturing process. Uh, actually, it's first they used to use the, la, the raw material, the limestone clay. Uh, back in the ancient, like ancient cement, they, they started with uh, burning, naturally burning those raw materials and getting the cement. It was rare though. Nobody could use that. Only the natural occurring, occurring limestone and clay, they used to burn and get cement because it has the cementitious material. They, they figured that has cementitious uh, properties that can bond, aggregates, and stand together. So they start using it. Later on, with the technology, they start using uh, the kiln. The kiln that produces the kiln. So, uh, this kiln, as you can see, it's a, it's a long tube. It has uh, different, it, it's gradual, and it's, um, as you can see, it's gradual in the temperature. The fire starts, like the, the food and fire starts here, and gradually it gets less and less. So, the low here is an inserted here. And they start, it starts rotating until it gets here, and each each stage of temperature uh, and stage it has its own characteristics. The first day dry it, then preheat it, the, the clay and the matter start to decompose. Then they're concerning the chemical reaction, the actual chemical reaction happens. This is the, the most important uh, chemical reaction, the CO2 plus the CO2. And then the burning or sprinkling. I have a video here about the sprinkler. Here's the thing we're going in the slow speed. It's slow, of course, so the cement and the, the raw material keep on going downward. As you can see, it's around. Okay. Which factory have you visited? Mm -hmm. Which factory did you guys visit? Uh, uh, it's the Portland Toro Okay. Okay. Toro, okay. okay. This is where they, they, they use in the see the raw materials, okay, it has the, the chemical components in it, but like this this tube transforms this chemical, this bond, okay, and decompose the, the components of the raw material that goes to the properties of the cement. So it's a long process, but this is like the only way to that we can separate those raw materials, uh, those components from raw materials. <laughs> what do you mean the components from raw materials? Still very like, vague. Uh, the component that can Yeah, what goes in this tube and what comes out raw materials? Yeah, yeah, raw materials. Which goes raw materials? The, the limestone clay. Limestone clay. So in here, the limestone yeah. clay. Yeah, they keep going. Uh -huh. Okay, with the temperature, the temperature is gradual. Uh -huh. They keep going and they they, and they, they go out as clinkers. I have a picture of this. So this is basically this is basically the what you what you have here is. Uh -huh. Yeah, that's the truth. So it gets, first of all, it gets dry, yep. and then preheated, and then calcinated. Yeah. So, and then after, so these are different degrees, from 20 yeah, to 250. Yeah, it's gradual, different degrees, and the fire, like the fire and fuel is here. So as you can see, so this is to make the main, the main component of cement, which is clink. So uh, the, out, the, out, the, the output of this process is clink. It's clinker. Great. Then we add the gypsum. So, so that's good, good, great, continue. Yeah, to grind it and package it. As you can see, the package, here's the package. It's here. 
Okay, those are typical I know, but this, this, so this tube does not just make cement, yani. there is a whole lot process after that. Yeah, of course, yeah, I'm going. Oh, okay. <laughs> this is like the clinker. Yeah, no, no, this is just, we use the clinker. Okay, and then we, we add the gypsum to it. Okay, and the gypsum is really controversial because the amount of gypsum you add might affect the, the, the properties. Actually, in cement, it's a chemical component, it's not organic, so anything you add, any alteration can really alter the properties. Okay, so. Uh, but before they go in here, don't they get crushed first? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, the input from here is there's a crusher, there's usually a crusher. Yeah, they crush it so it can fit in, but it doesn't, it can fit in and give more surface area for the, yeah. uh, for the chemical yeah, reaction. Before it goes in here, it goes in crush. Yeah. Okay. So uh, here's the clinker. That, like, this is the phone. This is what but actually get started from the, from the tube. Okay. And the fact is that, as you can see, and there's the film tube, which we went over now. Okay, as I was speaking, like the chemical components are really important in cement. Okay, the, the most important one, like I'm not gonna go over the whole component, but like the C3A is really important. The role of C3A is responsible for changing the cell chemistry from gel to solid. Okay, uh, cement is powder. Uh, anybody wants to mix cement, it's here. Cement is powder. You add it with water, it hydrates, which gives it like the, the actual. Uh, Characteristic of properties, it's useless unless you mix it with water. This is the main thing you do. If anybody wants to mix in here, it's architect. <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, after, like, when the reaction happens, there's heat of hydration. This is very important because in the temperature, if there's the temperature differences, if you're in a hot country, the heat of hydration might affect like, the, the structure, especially with large wooden sections. And like the, the, the temperature needs six centimeters in size, so it, it, get, it goes away. So in large construction, it can really, really can get hot. So you need to control that in special cases. Okay. Um, it has nothing to do with strength. It's all it's only changing the state. This this specific uh, this C3A, and it, this is the like the positive side, the, the role of it. The negative side reacts with sulfate to tell the concrete reaction. Obviously, all of you know like, the effect of sulfate on concrete. It attracts it. Okay, it has chemical, it actually has chemical uh, interaction with it that produces a substance that has more volume than the actual uh, uh, C3O, and that like, the volumetric change causes cracking. Okay? So, uh, the, first, the first point here refers to the, like, the first type. The first type is cement. Uh, we can alter the, this heat of hydration. We can add admixture to cement to alter this heat of hydration either to make it faster or like uh, or make it slower. And for the sulfate, we have the type five cement. My wife is here going to speak about the types of cement after I'm done. Uh, yeah. So the type five is a sulfate resistant. So we limit the C3A. So this compound, like this chemical reaction, would would happen, but in less quantities and when it cools down to one that would expand and cry the concrete. So by having type one with adventures and dry bars, all construction is possible. And that was the engineers referred to because when we, when we researched the types of cement, uh, they produce a lot of types. But the main type that the engineers are familiar with are type five, the sulfate resistant, and uh, uh, the, the type ones that were really important to us. Okay, uh, I need to mention something else that uh, um, why why would you use uh, type five? Like, what are the, the environments that would require us to use sulfate resistant uh, cement? Well, in Alexandria, on Alan Bach, oh, like Alan Bach, with the with the foundation, there's really violent sulfate attacks on the foundation. So sometimes we use this uh, uh, type five to, to make it safer. 